wish that the world ever sees Was it as it is? If I had a wish I'd go back to who I used to be Back before the sky fell down But I'm living in the here and now I'm not a hero I'm only a human Battle demons It's all they can lose it I keep my head on And I keep fighting But I just remember who I'm fighting for. I'm not a hero, I'm only a human, battling demons, and some days I'm losing. But I keep my head up. Welcome to Worship Wednesday. My name is Pamela Mary. Tonight we are talking all things, my new release, all things Take Down a Giant. So thank you guys so much for joining us, for hanging out this evening. Let's catch up with some, some of y'all. Oh, hello Bridget. Hello Shannon. Hello Carl. Hello Rodney. Hello Alvia. Roberto says, best wishes. Thank you so very much. Appreciate all of your amazing support. Hello, Don. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Steve says, love that song, Ministers to My Soul. That um, means a lot to me, Steve. Um, it's going to be all I can do to get through tonight's live stream without crying because <laughs> just talking all about the song that I just played for you guys, Take Down a Giant, that drops on Friday. That's in two days. I mean, but like less than two days because it comes out at midnight. So like almost a day and a few hours, basically. Edward, hello. Hi, Amy. Hello, Robert. Hello, Richard. Hello, William. William says, God bless you. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. You as well. Editor says, hi, how are things doing today? I'm glad you are singing the beautiful songs. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Hello, Bittner James. Hello, Brian. Super happy to see some of you guys hop on. You can drop in the comments where you were watching from, where Richard just did. He says, hi, Pamela. I'm here from Fort Edward, New York. Hello, hello. Darren says, good news. Matthew says, good evening, Pamela. Hello, Chester. Good evening, Matthew. Michaela, hey, oh my gosh, it's been so, it's so good to see you. Let me try to expand these comments. Today was a horrible day since 3 a.m. It's better now because I'm off for the next four days since no school. Thanks for making my night. 
I'm so, that sucks. I'm so sorry that was a, that it was a horrible day since 3 a.m. Something terrible must have happened in the middle of the night. I'm so sorry about that. And, you know, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad you're here because we're talking all things, uh, my new release, Take Down a Giant, and battling those things in life that are no bueno. <laughs> God bless. So, uh, my song comes out on Friday, and if you have Spotify, you can pre-save it right now with the link in my bio on Instagram or in the link in the description on this Facebook Live. Pre-save that, that the algorithms like that, and people, it'll push that up in the whatever, show it to people, I guess. Uh, I would appreciate that too because as my dad always says, he hopes that I get a million downloads, a million streams, and so, you know, daughter, I want to make my dad proud, right? Give me a million streams, give me a million downloads. You guys, I'm really proud of this song. Um, this song, I, I cried, cried, cried my eyes out writing this. I wrote this with two um, other amazing women, Marty Jane Dodson and Erin Lyons, and I wanted to, I was asked to write a song about my story with MS. And so when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, um, back it up, back up my story a little bit. So I was, I was just getting some grapes out of the fridge and closed the door and my left eye was like this bright light in my eye. Just like, you know, when someone takes a picture and you have that flash in your eye, or if you go outside and the sun is really bright. So I had this like bright light in my left eye and I thought, well, maybe I just looked at the refrigerator light too long. That's kind of weird. Um, Cause I don't think the refrigerator light's that bright, but that brightness in my eye did not go away for a while. And so I went to go see my ophthalmologist, because I had just had LASIK like the year prior, which you guys, LASIK is amazing. I recommend it to everyone. And uh, so you never have to deal with contacts or glasses. It's so awesome. But so I got to see my ophthalmologist and over the course of a couple days, he does all these eye tests and he comes back to me and is like, Pamela, your eyes are perfect. They're like, my left eye is actually better than 2020. So for the fact that like I couldn't see, had nothing to do with my LASIK. So he says, I recommend that you go see a neurologist. And I'm thinking, wow, that's scary, <laughs> a neurologist. So I go, I go find a neurologist, make an appointment. And by this time, that bright light is no longer a bright light. It's gray. Like I can only see gray on my left eye. So that's great. And I have every test in the books from the neurologist, three MRIs, a spinal tap, blood tests. I mean, it was awful. The spinal tap was the absolute worst of it. And so I was terrified, right? And I get the diagnosis and the neurologist says it's multiple sclerosis and I'm floored. Like my life just shattered. Um, Cause multiple sclerosis is a chronic, incurable, progressively disabling disease. So I'll have that for the rest of my life. That's great. And so I don't know what's gonna happen. It, it is an autoimmune disease that attacks your brain and your spinal cord. Uh, your central nervous system, so anything that your brain controls that could possibly be attacked and could possibly like go out on you. I mean, think about it, your brain. So I was, I was pretty devastated, uh, like fell into major, major depression. And so that is where this song, Take Down a Giant, started. It started um, based on my story. I also chose to become, because I'm in kind of in the, uh, I am, but I'm not in the like healthcare arena. My degree is in psychology, uh, but my main, my passion, my love, everything, my, the, how I make my money, my profession is in music. So I, however, decided that I would become certified in the Walls Protocol. Dr. Terry Walls is an amazing, amazing pioneer for all autoimmune diseases and when I was at the seminar I was getting certified in the walls protocol I was asked to write a song for
for the following year, which was actually last summer. And then we had the pandemic. So that seminar was not a live seminar anymore. So anyway, I have this song about my story and my, like, I hate my story. I, I mean, I, I hate, literally you guys, I hate having MS. I hate how I feel all the time. And I'm gonna talk about that in my lyrics uh, in a little bit. Um, but I thought I need to write a song about my story, but that's also about hope. Do you guys feel that when you hear the song? You feel like hope? Take Down a Giant, the title is based on the David and Goliath story. David had his five small smooth stones and all these people were terrified of Goliath the giant and he's like, you come at me with your shield and your sword and I come at you in the name of the Lord. And it only took him one stone to hit Goliath in the forehead with a slingshot, which is really powerful. If you don't know, slingshots are really powerful and it knocked him dead. And so David killed Goliath and cut off his head. So this, that's what the song is taken, take down a giant comes from. So catch up with some of you guys. Does that, do you guys hear, like hear that when you hear the song, that the hope in the song? I sure hope so. Robert says, hello, Pamela Mary, may God bless, keep blessing you in everything you do. Love ya, young lady, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And what about doing a video for the song, you taking down a giant of MS, like David killing the giant? Well, <laughs> I'm not doing a whole like movie on David taking down a giant like that. That would be very theatrical and very expensive. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion. Hello, sweet Megan. Super happy to have you here. And Megan says, whoa, wow, yeah, that's a burden. And yes to hope. Oh, great. Thank you. And hello, Keith. Richard says, eh, you are as a bed as ever. What? God has blessed you in so many ways. I pre-saved it and I can't wait to start streaming it because I know it means so much to you. Well, see, and now I don't, n n yes, it does mean a lot to me, but I really want it to mean a lot to everybody else. Because in writing this song, I wrote Take Down a Giant about my story, but I also wrote it for everybody out there who has battles as well. So it's for everybody who battles anything physical, like I do with MS and all the other things that I have, um, and mental, emotional, because I seriously, like I battled depression like crazy. Like, it, I mean, bad, it was bad until I found Dr. Walls and got in the Walls protocol. And sorry, I have like uh -huh, a fuzz or something in my eye. Uh, that was kind of painful. <laughs> um, depression, like majorly. And then some other things happened in my life that didn't help that and made the depression get worse. And then I started battling anxiety summer 2019. And so anybody who's battling anything emotional, doesn't have to be physical, like my MS or cancer or diabetes or epilepsy or spina bifida, cerebral palsy. I've got fans, some of you guys out here have a lot of things that you're dealing with. And I have friends who've lost their spouses young due to things and that's so sad for the young kids, you know? So the song is for them. And then also for people who are battling financial issues, because COVID shut everything down, a lot of people lost their jobs. And I know what that's like because it severely affected me. Um, I know what it's like to have an entire company collapse that I had for many years uh, and to also lose my performance, my performance income. So if you lost 
your job, if you've gone bankrupt. The financial battles, this song is, is about that too. And also, it's about the relational battles that we all fight. Because some of you guys out there are battling those relational issues in your marriages. And some, some of you out there have or are going through divorce. And that's like the worst thing in the world. And my heart goes out to you because I surely know about all those relational issues and battling those. So this song is for everybody who has physical battles, mental emotional battles, financial battles, relational battles. Because we all face those battles. So yes, this is about my story. But I wrote it to be relatable to all of you out there who are battling as well. Because even the smallest of us can take down a giant when we have him on our side, right? Hello, get some, some highs, some waves, some people, um, oh, Polly, hey, will you tell Anna hi for me? I miss her so much. And uh, Joshua says, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hello, happy St. Patrick's Day. Dale says, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. I, I totally considered wearing green, and then at the last minute, I was like, <laughs> I was lazy because I was wearing a Garth Brooks t-shirt and I didn't want to wear that uh, for my show tonight with you guys. I um, <laughs> had this that I, I did a photo shoot on Monday and this was one of my shirts from the photo shoot that was just out still because I hadn't put it away. So it's black so I'm not wearing green for thanks or for Thanksgiving, mercy, for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Leah says, we miss you too. Oh, I miss y'all. And Joshua says, I love your beautiful voice and guitar playing. Thank you. Hello, Harley. Steve says, makes my detached retina seem minor compared to your battle. But, but still, Steve, like it's, that's scary for you. I know. I told you, I've been through it with my dad and if you don't have a good, I know because you're like in the Conroe area or something. Um, my dad went to Berkeley Eye Center off of Memorial and there's one in Katy. He was at both of them and, and they're amazing. Actually, that's where I got my LASIK too. And I love them. So if you don't have a an eye surgeon that you know and trust yet and give you the name of my ophthalmologist, he's amazing. Dr. Yankelove is actually his name, Berkeley Eye Center. So, Harley says, hi, cowgirl, sounds awesome. Thank you. Hello, Chester and Trisha. Harley says, very awesome. Hello, Ari Rollins. Harley says, yes. Hello, Robert and Dan. Harley says, happy St. Patrick's Day, my friend, and to you. Dan says, hey, Pam, and hey, back. Eddie says, great. I'm so glad you guys are dropping your bottles in here your battle stories I'll get to that real quick thank you y'all drop in your battle stories William says good evening hello William good evening so I wanted to just go through all things take down a giant tonight since the song drops on Friday and uh, go behind the lyrics tell you about my lyrics tell you what they mean and, and why I cried so much <laughs> so it starts off I wake up, take a breath, wonder what's coming next. Literally, you guys, <laughs> before I even open my eyes, as soon as I wake up, before I open my eyes, my first thought almost always is, man, I'm exhausted. It's not sleep tired, it's fatigue, that chronic fatigue that people with MS have. So I'm always just absolutely wiped out because inflammation in your body causes, causes your body to have to use tons of energy with this inflammation, this chronic inflammation that you don't want to have. <laughs> but so I'm always exhausted. So that's, I wake up, take a breath, 
before I even open my eyes, you guys, I'm exhausted. It's my first thought every morning, just about. Uh, I have scars that the world never sees. Um, that literally is, it, it's, is figurative and for real, literal. So, um, multiple sclerosis means many scars. So I have scars on my brain. I don't have mild MS, I have moderate MS. And um, I've seen my MRI scans and they are not good looking. Um, so I have a lot of scars on my brain. But then there's also those relational scars where you get heartbroken, you go through a divorce, and you have those scars that you have to deal with. But I also had ovarian tumor surgery um, two, two years prior to being diagnosed to MS. So just a, just a, just a few years ago. And um, so thankfully those were declared benign. But at the same time I was going through ovarian tumor, being like all the blood tests for that, all the CT scans for that, seeing the oncologist. My grandmother was at the same time diagnosed with ovarian cancer, stage four ovarian cancer. So one day we were both texting each other from our oncologist's office, the cancer doctor, so crazy. So I had ovarian cancer, ovarian tumor surgery and I have an eight inch scar from that, but nobody can see. I just spilled that little secret for y'all, but y'all will never see that. Y'all will never see the scars in my brain. Y'all will never see my scar from having ovarian tumor surgery. And two months after my surgery, my grandmother died from ovarian cancer. So that is, uh, I have scars that the world never sees. And when you have a broken heart, you have scars that nobody sees. Of course I have scars that are visible, but y'all probably have those invisible as well as invisible and visible scars. So drop in the comments if you've got scars that Nobody else can see, or if you have scars that are very visible. I've never been in, through anything terribly tragic <laughs> where I've had to have, uh, like, my brother and sister both had to have stitches on their face <laughs> when they were kids. So, next, wasn't asking for this, and if I had a wish, I'd go back to who I used to be. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I wish, I wish I could just go back to who I used to, like the energy I used to have. I was a totally different person. Like, I feel like a zombie sometimes having MS. So I often am like, if I could just go back to that girl I used to be, life was so much easier. So that's what that is. Back before the sky fell down, that I'm living in the here and now. Just means I gotta deal with it. This is the here and now, right? So I'll catch up with you guys here. Eddie says, I once battled depression during the past decade. The jobs were unstable and I was chronically out of work. The longest I was out of work was two years. I wanted to kill myself. Oh my gosh. I wish this song had been out for you then. Um, yeah, that sounds like devastating. Um, I'm so sorry you went through that, Eddie. I hope things are better now, for sure. Um, but yeah, like especially if you have a family you're trying to take care of. That's pretty devastating. <laughs> Robert says, all you need is three minutes or so to do the video and not three hours. I'm not asking or suggesting that you do a movie. It was just an idea of mine. Do you know that it takes one hour to film every minute? I've done movies. <laughs> Literally, it takes one hour per minute. So if I have a three and a half minute song, that's a three and a half hour video shoot. And you're you're talking about expensive stuff there anyway. Eddie says, Goliath couldn't see very well. That's why he had a shield bearer. And that's why he thought David had sticks. Yeah, he, uh, he wasn't in the best of health. And David was just a, just a teenager, just a little kid. Uh, so what skip the green? What? What does that mean, Eddie? So what skip the green? Skip the green like clothes? But is that what you're going back to? Yeah, because I'm not wearing green. <laughs> uh, Dan says, don't let 
fear, let God, wait, don't fear, let God guide you. Yep. Eddie says, that top is really cute. <laughs> so what if it isn't great? Oh, thanks. I even thought about like, should I wear the green earrings? But these are my favorite um, from Texas Silver Rush in Fredericksburg, Texas. Texas Silver Rush from their social media. You can get their earrings uh, for, for special lady. Uh, I thought about like wearing green in my hair or something, but I just did not. Joshua says, thank you. Hello, Scotty. Scotty says, made it. it. was late because I was fixing my column gear ship. You and your truck troubles. So funny. <laughs> Edward says, I'm from northern Minnesota. Awesome. And he says, fear equals false evidence appearing real. Yeah, I've totally heard that. It's awesome. Hello, Kenneth. Bobby says, hey there, watching from Adrian, Missouri. Hello, Bobby. Steve says, isn't it great that Jesus has scars because of us too? You know, um, I'm glad you brought that up because I hadn't thought of it that way. That's true. Scars that the world, um, I have scars that the world never sees. Uh, those scars of Jesus, like he has scars from us that we caused. <laughs> that is so true. Thank you for bringing that up. And he says, my broken heart is having to leave the rural area I grew up and loved so I could take a job. Oh, that's so hard. And he says, they're better now. I'm in a good job just over a year now. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That's awesome. Leah says, you look beautiful. You are always an encourager. Oh, Leah, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. So chorus is I'm not a hero I'm only a human um because <laughs> people say that to me all the time you're here you're such a hero and I'm like no I'm, I'm not a hero <laughs> I'm not a hero I've I get called hero and angel all the time and literally no God created angels angels are in heaven I'm a human I'm not an angel but that's not this song that's one of my other songs uh, I'm not an angel. That's not what the song's called. That's one of the lyrics. Um, but I'm not. I'm not a hero. I'm only a human, battling demons. And some days I'm losing, cause Satan knows where to attack me. You guys know what I mean? Drop in the comments an emoji. Give me a, give me a thumbs up or something like that. I don't know. You could a little devil if you wanted to, but Satan knows how to attack. Um, some days I'm losing. Like when the when the air pressure is low and I feel like a zombie and I would rather, like literally it would be easier for me to sit in a chair and just watch paint dry because I have zero energy. Um, it's also, it, like holding a glass of water is heavy for me on some days. A glass of water, picking up a glass of water, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's so heavy. <laughs> and for those of you who know me enough, you know I'm like a workout freak. I always have been very much into health and nutrition and working out. So picking up a glass of water is not that big of a deal. Some days I'm losing. But I keep my head up and I keep fighting because even the smallest of us can take down a giant. And here's a little behind the lyrics from that that you may never guess, but uh, I keep my head up and I keep fighting. Like, I don't have a choice. MS, it's, there's this little saying that uh, cancer is a death sentence, MS is a life sentence. So, MS isn't gonna kill me. It's just gonna progressively disable me for the rest of my life if I don't take one of perfect care of myself and manage my stress levels and have good relationships around me. So that lyric about, <laughs> and I keep fighting because even the smallest of us can take down a giant. Some days I don't want to fight. Like every single day is a battle for me. and <laughs> I get so tired of it. For those of you who have to battle something in your life, do you ever get tired? Just like, like, can I just please have a day where I don't have to battle this anymore? Or I can go back to normal and go back to where th things used to be. 
But even the smallest of us can take down a giant and sometimes we have to have friends help us do that. Like when Moses had to hold his arms up to win the battle and his arms were getting tired and he had to have his brother Aaron and uh, her, a guy named her, hold his arms up. So he had friends to help him hold his arms up like God said. Verse 2 says, At the end of the day, when my mind starts to race about things no one else understands, is mostly about all the, like, thinking about all the things that I can't do very well anymore. Do you know what I mean? When my mind starts to race about things no one else understands. I used to, I mean, I used to be kind of like, I do things that I'm good at, not things that I'm not good at, but so things that I was really good at, I wasn't as good at anymore. Like, I have cognitive dysfunction, I forget things, in addition to having chronic fatigue, and the other physical things that I deal with, the pain, neuropathy, and stuff that I deal with. So, that's what that line is about. It says, I remember there's more, I'm still writing my story, and I get to choose how it ends. So, quite frankly, with God on your side, He is for you, He is not against you, and He knows your story, but it's up to you to keep putting one foot forward and making the right choices every day and I get to choose how it ends I get to choose to walk in faith that God's got me and I know in the end who wins regardless of what happens in this earth um, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego when they were thrown in the fiery furnace God can deliver us from the fiery furnace, but if he will not, he's still in charge, and he will still win. So that's that part. And then, yeah, it's true, my world went black. It's literally, it is very literally about how I lost vision in my left eye. I mean, technically it was gray. <laughs> my left eye went gray. But yeah, it's true, my world went black, but this is how it looks when I come back. Um, and my vision following the walls protocol uh, slowly started to come back which is I'm so glad because I went to a Carrie Underwood concert who's my favorite and I literally had to be dragged by my hand because my spatial reasoning was all kinds of out of whack with not having my left eye be able to see so it was like you just drag me around the concert. I'll just follow you. And so my vision slowly started to come back. Um, I have my 2020 or better than 2020 vision back, but my eyes don't, my vision doesn't line up, which is really annoying that I deal with every day and fluorescent lights make that even worse. So this is how it looks when I come back is, you know, just literally the looks and the eyesight thing, but um, just fighting those battles and staying strong, right? It's how it looks when I come back because I'm not going to stay down. You're not going to see me just lay down and do nothing. So let me back up a little bit. Eddie says, Lately, prayers must have worked because I'm... And now I'm looking for ways to rebuild myself where I am. I call it moving in all of me. Good for you. Wow, that's great. I love that. Steve says, you are awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. And he says, I like Carrie Underwood. Excellent singer. Very beautiful. Cries Pretty. That's one of her songs. Yeah, I went to her Cry Pretty tour. I had VIP tickets. I was right up at the front. It was awesome. Runaway June, Maddie and Tay. And uh, Carrie, Maddie and Tay, they're uh, both 
former vocal students of my Houston vocal coach. And so I've seen them a, a couple times actually. They're amazing. That was my first time seeing Runaway June. But Carrie, I've seen her a couple times. She is so good. Her show is so good. And I once dreamt that I was doing a duet with her at a concert. We had a show and we had a duet. So there's that. Maybe that'll happen someday. This is how it looks when I come back. My comeback is that I'm singing a duet with Carrie Underwood. We're doing a concert together. <laughs> Steve says, I will never take my vision for granted again when I get it fixed. You'll get it fixed. And you'll be good again. Ross says, roll call on Friday for the song to go onto our phones. Cannot wait to play it so much. Thank you very much, Ross. I can't wait for you guys to all stream it 10 million times or a million times or just a hundred thousand times <laughs> whatever whatever's good for you just put it on play and let it go when you're doing chores or whatever and then the bridge says sometimes i have to lose to win the war and just you know sometimes we just lose sometimes we lose but we know who wins the war we know Christ wins the war. Like, he's already won it. We're just fighting this battle um, that until Christ comes again, fighting, fighting these battles daily with his help. But he's already won. And it says, but I just remember who I'm fighting for. And that has to do with uh, your why. So like I said, I wrote this song about my story and I ah this is the part I'm trying not to cry ha so you're why why do you fight um I didn't want to become a liability on the man that I left or my family so that's why I fought that's why I was so determined to eat perfectly, exercise, rest, relax, get my sunshine, get my vitamin D, take a million supplements. I did not want to become a liability on the man that I loved, on the family that I loved. I didn't want them to have to take care of me. So that's, that was my why. But I just remember who I'm fighting for. But it also could be your children, your family, your spouse and for for God fighting for him because he gives you the faith and he he helps you fight those battles so that is the story behind the lyrics of take down a giant and of course there was a lot more that was thought about and discussed and trying to condense it into just a few words, a few phrases for a song. That's what you guys get. And now, I'll catch up real quick and then I'm gonna play it for you, full production. Nettie says, learning guitar myself. How many you got there? I see two black electrics, three acoustics, one more addition to the one you're playing. Um, I have, uh, Three acoustics, one electric, I have a violin, viola, and um, you can't see it, my little bongo drum from Hawaii, um, and my keyboard. That's what I have in here. The majority of the instruments are in this room, but that's what I have. And Ross says, don't be scared to cry. We're all behind you. You're amazing and you're inspiring our lives, Pam. Ah, thank you. I really appreciate that. So y'all, like I said, I wrote this song for everybody who's facing physical, emotional, mental, financial, relational battles. So if you're going through a battle right now, this song comes out Friday and this song is for you. <laughs> Back to who I used to be Back 
Take Down a Giant comes out this Friday. And Megan, I know you wanted to do one of your, my friend Megan here, she's also an artist. Uh, she wanted to have me on her Instagram. And so the song comes out Friday. So let's set that up for that uh, live stream that I would love to do with you. I'm so excited that my song finally comes out. So thank you for all the claps. Becky says, Pamela, God bless you. I love your music. Becky, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Robbie says, hello, hello back. <laughs> Megan says, yay. Leah says, thank you. Leah, you're welcome. Ugh, I miss you guys. You are so amazing. Uh, you guys don't even know how much I love my vocal students. Like, from the moment I meet them, they become like mine. My, my kids or like a cousin or like a friend or an older mentor. It doesn't matter how old you are. And they're always like mine. They're always that. So like, yeah, I miss your girly. I miss Anna. She's amazing. Gosh, so talented. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you have Spotify, I would love it if you would pre-save Take Down a Giant. The link is in my bio on Instagram. The link is in the description on Facebook. Please pre-save that. And then when the song comes out, please share it. I hope that it means a lot to a lot of people. It's just like we all battle. <laughs> we all battle. <laughs> Basically, say we all fight battles. Megan says on it. Yay, thank you for the little hearts and happy face, Leah. And it's a, uh, I hope that you'll add it to your Spotify playlist, add it to your iTunes playlist, um, ask other people to add it to their playlists. Because I think the song, I tried to make, make the song hopeful. And my producer is like, I don't want this like in your face, grr, uh, sound, like battle warrior, like, I like to listen to Linkin Park when I work out because it keeps me like, in that er mode. Not the sound I was going for. So I was literally like kind of along the lines of, you know, Carrie Underwood's song, So Small. And uh, anyway, so I hope this song makes you feel hopeful when you're fighting your battles. Hope, finding hope in the hurting. Uh, Ross says, will it release on midnight Thursday? Will it be uh, into the day more? Oh, gosh. Um, Ross, I think it releases midnight globally, not like midnight central time. I think it releases midnight globally. So 12.01, I mean 12, 12 a.m., 12 o'clock a.m. on Friday. So technically that, you know, Thursday night right so yeah i hope i'm right there because i think you have the option to have it release all at the exact same time or roll it out and i think it this song is rolling out at midnight or globally i don't know exactly but i think that's what it is so any more questions you guys i'm so happy to get to to have been able to share the behind the lyrics story. I tell you the story of why I wrote or my diagnosis story all the time when I play the song, but that's literally what the lyrics mean, where they came from, what, what they're all about. So y'all have any questions for me? Well, I just want to let you know, if you are on my email list, you get to hear the fully produced song before anybody else. So I hope you're on my email list. And if you are and you haven't checked your email or if, you, like, if you're on my email list and you didn't get it yet, then it probably went to spam or drunk or promotions. You need to go get it out. Add me, add Pamela Mary Music to your contacts list and you should go to your inbox from now on, but check your spam, check your junk, check your promotions. If you don't have an email from me and you are on my email list, because I sent it to you to be to be able to hear it first, sent you a private YouTube link, 
If you are not on my email list and you want to hear it first, you better drop in the comments what your email address is, drop that ASAP, and even if the live stream is finished and you haven't gotten your email to me and you want to hear the song, you can DM me. That's easy. Also, um, if you're on my texting list, it should have gone out that way too. So are any of you guys who are watching on my email list or my texting list, have any of you gotten that? Have you gotten my email or my text to listen to? Like I just sent it out. It literally happened during this live stream. Just for my fans, just for you guys. Y'all are amazing. Did you guys get it? Wait a second. I know there's a tiny little lag between when I ask a question and getting a response. Bobby says yes. Awesome. <laughs> now you can't share this. It's not shareable um, yet. So it says that in the email. It says, and it says that on the YouTube link for your ears only. Uh, but you get to hear the fully produced version before anybody else. If you're on my email list, if you're on my texting list, Becky says, I love your song, Ready to Fly. Thank you so much. I gotta say, like, I love playing Ready to Fly live. I, uh, Take Down a Giant is also another fun one, but Ready to Fly, like, it's just that rock, country rock sound, and it's just really super fun to play. I love playing it, so thank you. Well, you guys, tonight was fun. Had a great time hanging out with y'all. Thanks for coming back week after week. If you are here every Wednesday, I love it. <laughs> if you are new tonight, I am so happy that you're here. Thank you for hopping on. And if you just come, if you're here now and you just come every once in a while and put me down while you're making dinner or something, that's amazing too. I know I don't have the attention span to, to watch. I don't think I would be able to watch me for an hour. I'd probably just like set my phone somewhere and listen to it. I have friends, I have vocal students who do their live streams, and I, know I do that sometimes. <laughs> so I love it if you do that too. It's awesome. If you're here, you're here. Bridget says, good evening, Pam. You are so amazing, and I love listening to see you sing. You have such a wonderful voice. I love your music. I appreciate you, Bridget. You are so awesome. You're such an amazing fan. You're, so, you're always here. You're always so positive. I love it so much. You guys, I, I love it. I love you being here. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Take Down a Giant comes out Friday. Please, on Friday, then go share it with everybody. Share it on your socials. Stream it everywhere. And I look forward to hanging out with you next week for Worship Wednesday when the song will already have been out and y'all will all have streamed it a million times and it'll be number one on all the charts. So, And Ian, you just showed up at the end. You guys, I love y'all. Have an amazing night, and I will see you soon.